statue of the emperor is actually as big as it looks on screen. Yeah, we were gonna use a small model and green screen it, but then Greg offered to fund building a life-size version. He was planning on setting it up front and center of his used car lot. Apparently, he ran into some issues with zoning laws. Yeah, I told him he should just play dumb and put the thing up anyway, but he wouldn't listen. I guess that's why he's still running that same lot. Whereas I've been barred from filming in 12 different states. If I told you how much gold paint we used on these darn sets, you wouldn't believe me. We were originally trying to decorate this whole set in precious stones. I wanted that sparkling effect, but then my props guy shook his head. I've learned that when he shakes his head, it's best to go with plan B. Unfortunately, plan B meant a cement mixer filled with gold paint. Uh, it was so much hard work, even I had to finally roll up my sleeves, dive in, and call some interns from the community college. Man, there is nothing college kids won't do for free pizza. When the guy funding your movie offers you a suggestion, the stupidest idea ever is a phrase you should shy away from. Another of your fake death scenes?
action in this scene reminds me of a big fight I had with the studio head. Word to the wise, when the guy funding your movie offers you a suggestion, stupidest idea ever is a phrase you should shy away from. have come here to end your empire and free these apes from your tyranny. <laughs> you? Tell me. Do you think I need these pitiful creatures to run my empire? Allow me to show you something. As you can see, I do not need those darn dirty apes. It is a kindness that I allow them to survive. I give them work so they believe their life has purpose. All I truly want from them is their gold. Gold? Ha! What gold? Have you not seen the result of Gravoria's planet-wide radiation? When living beings die, their bodies are transmuted into solid gold. The apes are useless. I send my minions to harvest more gold for my empire. You are a cruel, heartless monster. Perhaps. Perhaps. Thank <laughs> you. 
That scene always makes me woozy. Hey, Patrick, I think we need a break. press all the buttons on a real elevator, people get so annoyed when you do that. Nowadays, we just click, click and make all this in 3D with those computers or something. But no computers here. No, heck no. I still don't know how to work one of those damn contraptions. Construction 101. To make it look nice, you gotta make it look shiny. That's the secret ingredient, you know. production babies while making this movie. One of them was even named after one of the characters, Maximilian J. Peters.
wanted to go skydiving myself, but I have a crippling fear of heights. Oh, really? So, was this movie your way of tackling that fear head on? Ha! <laughs> nah, this movie is what gave me my fear of heights. By the end of it, I was directing scenes with my eyes closed to keep from getting panic attacks. Now it's all starting to make sense. Capture them all. Doctor Peculiar, why is my dinosaur army running amok? Oh well, let them roam the island. But your eminence, what if they trample on some of my hybrid specimens? That that would be like turning Gregor Mendel's pea garden into soup and forcing him to drink it. Mendel Schmendel, Doctor. I gave you gold to spawn me a dinosaur army, and I expect my army to kill things! Certainly, your eminence. But whatever you command, it is so hard to do real science under these conditions. Sea monster shot. Oh, yeah, another sea monster shot.
The stop motion team was so stellar, and they worked for peanuts. They really did. I just couldn't get enough of them. The script called for a lot of dinosaurs here, so I said, hey, let's set the record. I told the team I wanted a minimum of 30. Of course, we found out later we were absolutely nowhere near the world record. But I didn't have the heart to tell them. I made them eat some fake plaques and sent them their way. Lightning switch. Searching. Available rocket ship detected.
space, the final frontier, where no man has gone before. These are the voyages of... Whoops, sorry, I got kind of carried away with something else there. Ask, but why did you buy? funny because when she says that line, it almost sounds like she's insulting Dick's masculinity. None of us caught it in the film. But at the premiere, I saw the reaction on Jonathan's face. <laughs> Whoops. Not an earthling. stance is, yes, the henchmen can breathe without helmets on. I get asked that a lot by people trying to find plot holes. And that's your answer, people. It's not a plot hole. It's not like we ran out of budget and couldn't afford to buy more glass bubbles. No, sir, that's nonsense.
way, that frog toy gun always makes me chuckle. A frog-shaped gun that shoots flies. Doctor, from where did those clones originate? I tried firing him. He was heartbroken, devastated. And then the next day, he'd just show back up to work <laughs> like nothing happened. <laughs> I couldn't bear to fire the man twice. That look on his face the first time. Oh well, <laughs> I just made it work. In retrospect, he was a bit creepy, though. Always hanging around the ladies' makeup trailer. Sir. So creepy. Oh well, who can blame him? We had some really nice eye candy on the set. <laughs> but he was creepy.
invisible men are always cool. And the great thing is, they're easy to cast because of obvious reasons. <laughs> Actually, that's what I wish I was when my ex-wife or IRS come knocking at my door. Uh, forget I said that. Patrick, we've been recording for a while. Can we take a break now? Well, we're a little behind, but sure, let's take a fiver. Oh, man. Man alive, that feels great to get those headphones off. Whew. Whew. That's a load off my shoulders. Which is uh, actually a load off my head, which is a load off my shoulder. But anyway, you know, I got to level with you. Most of the cast, not that great. Worst acting I've seen, probably. Yeah, we'd shoot some scenes a dozen times just to get it right. Hey, I want to... Hey, you're not recording any of this, right? Oh, uh, nah, it's all good. I'll just make a note to edit this stuff out. the actor just pick up a film reel? So that's what happened to all my missing footage. Oh, how did I ever let this make it into the final cut?
Hey, is this thing on? Can you hear me all right? <laughs> 